This video will demonstrate a Lecronon fracture internal fixation using a dynamic cable instead of a tension band wire. This is a 70 year old uh, right hand dominant woman who fell sustaining a typical displaced intraarticular fracture of the Lecronon. We can see here it's a transverse type fracture with some comminution. The incision is made in a posterolateral fashion and gives adequate exposure to the subcutaneous border of the ulna as well as the tip of the olecranon. One can see the uh, hematoma present at the fracture site and the obvious displacement of the proximal segment. This patient was operated on about one week after the injury and it is important to save the fracture callus which has already begun to form and consolidate which can later be replaced and assist in bony union. A hole is placed uh, in the subcutaneous uh, shaft of the ulna which will allow for the reduction clamp uh, points to uh, be well approximated. This then allows the elbow to be flexed, which makes it easier to pass the longitudinal intramedullary Kirshner wires, which are between 1.6 and 2.0 millimeters in diameter. It is important to recognize the valgus positioning of the uh, ulna, which uh, then should have the alignment of the wires parallel to that valgus alignment. The transverse hole for the dynamic cable is placed at least two lengths wider than the olecranon fracture in the subcutaneous border. Tension band cable is placed in a figure of eight fashion in the same way that tension band wire is and the cable is placed below the triceps and captured by the wires themselves. The uh, clip which tightens the cable is placed uh, on the posterior lateral aspect uh, which gives adequate soft tissue coverage. The torque uh, tightening device is applied and the torque that is used to tighten it is to, at, to the low torque line on the device itself. And this is done slowly and gradually and it equalizes the tension throughout the figure of eight. In order to prevent uh, any migration of the wires, uh, it is important to place it below the triceps and impact the K wires down the shaft, which will then capture the dynamic cable. The cable is cut with a scalpel. The callus is replaced so that it will uh, help with the uh, early bone healing and routine soft tissue coverage allows complete uh, protection of this uh, grasping clamp. This is a one month follow up uh, showing the longitudinal Kirshner wires, the uh, low profile uh, clasp which is posterior lateral on the olecranon and at three months one can see no migration of the wires and complete healing of the olecranon fracture. This is one year later the patient has uh, equivalent motion in both elbows and is uh, quite satisfied with her uh, functional outcome. Uh, what is important to note is that the cable is very well tolerated uh, with regard to uh, reaction and is not palpable.